Here in Wisconsin, many of us have been eagerly awaiting the summer warmth, but how hot is too hot? Our Maddie Heimsch is outside our Newsroom Now studios measuring just how hot our cars can get in this heat. Maddie? Yeah, Eric, I have a little experiment going on behind me. I placed this pan of cookie dough on my dashboard around noon today. It's been out here all afternoon. Uh, it looks not quite edible, uh, but it has flattened out those cubes from their original shape. I have this thermometer next to them. Looks to be about at 150 degrees right now. The solar radiation is coming in through, it's like a mini greenhouse effect, right, where the, uh, the sun's coming in through the windows uh, and it's not escaping. It's sort of just bouncing around inside the car and just heating up that interior. That interior can get to unsafe temperatures in just minutes. At just 70 degrees, your car can heat up to 112 in an hour. In 95 degree weather, similar to what we saw Monday afternoon, your car can easily reach 138 degrees. This time of year, people are like, oh, I'm just going to run into the store real quick and just leave my kids watching the iPad in the car. Okay, no, absolutely not. Those cars will heat up so fast. You know, and that goes for our animals too. You know, we can't leave our dogs in the car. According to the National Safety Council, 37 children die each year on average due to heat stroke in hot cars. Remember that that sun is intensified by the glare that comes from the And while interior car temperature isn't safe for anyone, air temperature safety is dependent on the person in these summer months. Um, there are other things that make us vulnerable as well. And it's not, we shouldn't just think in terms of what the temperature is or what the humidity is, but also the duration of that temperature and humidity as well. So after a couple of days, um, that really starts to build up. And without a kind of respite from that heat, then our bodies are far less resilient. Okay, I'm gonna pull these out right now. We're just gonna take a look at them. With my napkin, because it's hot. Okay, so this is about after six hours. Like I said, they don't look totally edible, but Eric, I'll bring one in the studio for you. I know you'll eat it. Um, but they definitely felt the heat flattening out today. Reporting in Madison, Maddie Himes, News 3 Now. Oh, those cookies, they look good. Maddie, thank you. Bring them on in. We'll try them.